<laughs> Alright, so today's video is sort of unorthodox. Uh, it's 7 or 8 in the morning. I'm actually up in the morning, which is weird for me. Um, and I was browsing Control Freak's website because they had sent me an email telling me that I should like buy things, and I was like, well, I'm a fan of Control Freaks, and, and to prove it, I do actually have my controller here that has a uh, Control Freaks on it. Now, this isn't my main controller. My main controller is downstairs. I've been playing some Kingdom Hearts downstairs, and so that's where that controller is. But I do buy a lot of Control Freak products. In fact, I have six pairs. Um, in front of me, I have those, which are, I believe, the Rush ones, and then these are the Edge ones, which are, like, really good and uh, grippy for my fingers. I have them attached to my Elite Controller uh, magnetic analog stick, so I can just swap these out really fast on my Elite controller. It's very nice. But yeah, I've bought six pairs over the years. Um, I really like them. They add comfort and range of motion and grip to my controllers. I really like it. I've even bought this like little Kingdom Hearts Control Freak pin, which is sort of overpriced for what it is, but I still bought it because I love Kingdom Hearts and I wanted to support a little bit of memorabilia. No one ever called me a smart shopper. I mean, I was at the midnight reveal for Call of Duty Ghosts, which in my opinion removes all my credibility, but either way. So on Control Freak's website, they sell these things called gaming lights, and these are like RGB strips that you can like put behind your TV and get like a cool glow. Uh, sort of about like what's going on behind here, behind my monitor, so we'll get into that in a second. But yeah, nothing in here is really snake oily or anything. It's just sort of telling you that like, okay, lights, at a immersive and, can, and customizable lighting experience, which I guess, you know, they're not totally wrong. In fact, while playing uh, Metal Gear Solid 5, when I was surrounded by fire, I actually switched my RGB light to like, just like pure red. And I thought that was kind of cool. Um, and then I was out in the desert and I switched it to yellow. And then um, on Mother Base, which is surrounded by water, I switched it to like, sort of like a blue. And I was kind of having fun with that with my little RGB light bulb that's behind my monitor. So I get that what they're saying, I get what they're selling here. It's actually a pretty cool product. Um, so as you scroll down, it gets snake oily. Uh, use color psychology to boost your game. Color psychology to boost your game. And that's, that's ridiculous, honestly. Um, and they have all these different exp explanations, but luckily for you guys, I've saved them on my desktop. So we can, uh, we can look at these. Oh, that was a thumbnail. So this first color is pretty boisterous. It says that red, uh, is this intense color which will stimulate aggression, happiness, passion. Uh, red invokes ideas of action and strength and can accelerate heart rate and breathing. It is best used t as a boost during critical raid or mission, during a critical raid or mission. So you're telling me that if the color red is behind my gaming monitor, I'll have accelerated heart rate and breathing? Okay, so first of all, it sounds like you're trying to kill asthmatic kids, and also, no. Yeah, red has a psychological, like, sort of aggression, or like, uh, yeah, I guess passion, and there's a reason women wear red lipstick. So you might think that, boom, that's just hyperbolic marketing stuff, it's not really snake oil, but... If it's hyperbolic and silly to you, that's great, but you just have to know that like gaming products, no matter how silly they seem and how um, unrealistic they seem, they sell. And they sell to kids and they sell to people that sort of have trouble tying their shoes. And honestly, this just screams that to me. It's like telling you that you'll have some sort of like psychological benefit from the color red beaming behind your TV. And I, I just think that's ridiculous. Can you not on Windows skip to the next photo if you've zoomed in? Do I have to zoom all the way? No way. I can zoom in and then switch, right? I hate windows. So they claim that the color blue causes the opposite reaction as red. Peaceful, tranquil, it causes the body to relax by producing calming chemicals. It's best used when you need to stay cool under pressure. So if you're stressing out over your video game, go ahead and uh, switch our RGB strips to blue. It'll calm you down. Okay, first of all, no. So when I looked into like how colors affect you psychologically, I found a lot of different information, but nothing that said that if you just wanna invoke an emotion, just use a certain color. Like that is not how that works. There's no deep psychological thing in the back of your brain that's gonna be like, well, I'm kinda stressed out right now, but oh, the color blue, you know? That's not how that works. I just imagine some kid that gets really mad at video games, sort of like myself, uh, is like looking at Control Freak and they're like, whoa, whoa, the color blue has a psychological effect to calm me down. If I buy these and put them behind my TV, I'll save up tons of money on controllers that I'm not gonna throw anymore. I just sort of feel like it's a little uh, dishonest 
to sort of tell people that your RGB strips are going to calm them down or make them, um, you know, more passionate and, and accelerate their heart rate and breathing. You know, it's possible to just say these are pretty lights. You don't have to say like, oh, there's a psychological benefit. <laughs> let me let me show you this next one. And before I get any comments, yeah, I know that like color is used um, in video games even to like invoke certain feelings, but you're not going to just, especially if you're looking for it, like if you're trying to be like, I'm going to stare at the color red until my breathing and heart rate is accelerated, or I'm going to stare at the color blue until I'm nice and calm. Like, that's not how that works. But apparently green is the easiest color on the eyes and can improve vision. <laughs> yeah, see this? Never looked better in my life. Uh, it is the calming, refreshing, refreshing color that promotes harmony in the mind, creating a balance between body and body and mind. It's the perfect choice for RPG games. It doesn't like say, it's like, oh, it's better for vision and then RPG games. So it, it promotes harmony in the mind. It's for RPG games, guys. Okay, so people that are really desperate will buy stupid shit. Like if people have trouble like with anger or maybe they feel out of focus in their life, they feel off balance emotionally, they look for things desperately. And this is sort of capitalizing on that and I don't, I don't really like that. Just saying that green is going to somehow find, um, you know, promote harmony in the mind and a balance between my body and my mind is sort of like, it's bullshit for one. Like, go stare at the grass in your front yard, I guess. You know, apparently it'll promote body and mind harmony, which is just so cool. But I just sort of feel bad. Like, Control Freak makes really good products, but it's like, why have, why, why, why lie? This next one, in my opinion, is, uh, is really silly. This next one is white and it acts as a clean slate to promote creativity. Use white light for bias lighting behind your TV or monitor to reduce strain on eyes and improve picture clarity when gaming in a dark room. So yes, it's good to actually have a light behind your monitor, that's why I have one. It does reduce eye strain. You don't want to sit in a dark room um, that's sort of unevenly lit, but if you can have a light that kind of like bounces off the back of your TV, that is actually good for your eyes, especially if you're gaming at night. Um, Improve picture clarity, my asshole. You are not going to improve picture clarity with the color white behind your TV. That's not happening. That's never happening. There are people out there that are like really, really dumb, but also really care about like image quality. And I'm kind of one of those people that's really dumb and cares about image quality. And I imagine if I was like five years younger, I'd be like, whoa, 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 this can improve picture clarity. But if we read this again, it says, white acts as a clean slate to promote creativity. The color white is not going to make you creative. It's not going to promote creativity. Just give up. If, if, if in your life, you were looking for a colored light bulb to encourage creativity, give up. The search for that light bulb, because it doesn't exist. It just, you know, it's in, it's in you. You can do it. it. You don't have to buy a light for it. So this one talks to you like you're in kindergarten. Orange is a combo of red and yellow, and the responses it creates are, rep are representative of both. Orange can raise your energy level and make you feel more aggressive, making it the perfect alternative to either red or yellow. So Control Freak, when you were selling me these Rush Control Freaks, why didn't you tell me the psychological benefits of this color? I didn't know they were going to make me more aggressive. Maybe I'll stop camping in Modern Warfare if I use these. Because apparently, It'll increase my, my aggressiveness, which might, you know, sort of increase the number of controllers I need to buy due to breakage because it's going to make me so aggressive. Just imagine some kid out there on your team is like, oh my god, I'm being so aggressive right now in Call of Duty, you know, it's probably because the light behind my fucking TV is orange. I'm not in control of my mental state or actions, I got RGBs for that. So yellow, much like myself, is an attention getter, but is also the most difficult color for the eye to take in. Why do warming... When you use, like, blue light filters on monitors, it always makes it more yellow, though. That doesn't seem right. <laughs> anyway, yellow enhances the concentration, but can cause people to lose their tempers more quickly. It's great for stimulating a quick burst of energy during a marathon gaming session. What? You might not believe me, but... Uh, oh, gosh, what's the gas switch the color? You might not believe me, but uh, I have not read all of these yet. I did not know that one existed. I sort of saved like the other half of these. Um, 
it'll it's like it's almost like a warning like okay careful guys yellow is a pretty dangerous color here and it, it could cause you to lose your temper more quickly so it's great for stimulating a quick burst of energy during a marathon gaming session like so here's the situation we can all relate to you're playing games with your buddy and you're it's a long gaming session you guys are like grinding out the new battle pass or something and you're playing a long gaming session but you start to feel a little tired you start to feel a little lethargic and it's like I have an idea. I'll just boost the yellow color and it'll give me a boost of energy. Control Freak said so. I'll just look at my Control Freaks and get more aggressive. God, I'm still congested. Fuck everything. I accidentally turned on all of the lights in my room doing that. I didn't want to do that. They're all connected to the same remote. I have to like point and click. Oh God. These are, these are dumb, Control Freak, I'm just saying. I still wouldn't mind a sponsorship, honestly. I love your products, but these descriptions are just laughable. All right, so purple, one of my favorite colors on an RGB spectrum, is uh, often referred to as the color of royalty. It's perfect for adding a luxurious, sophisticated glow to your setup that can make you feel more powerful and creative. I stopped there because I thought it was going to be like, oh, it adds a, lux a luxurious, sophisticated glow to your setup. And I agree, like, I love my purple glow behind my monitor when I'm just sort of chilling in my room. It just makes my room feel more special. It makes things feel cooler, um, more high tech even. And then it's like powerful and creative. This color does not make me, is this because I don't have Control Freaks RGBs? Should I buy Control Freak RGBs to see if they make me feel more powerful and creative? Because I'll do anything to justify an impulse buy. I'm a stupid ass consumer. Again, Call of Duty Ghost launch night. Okay, guys, the last one, then I'll let you guys go back to being lonely and sad. So, indigo. Indigo is the color of intuition, higher thinking, and perception. It's used to facilitate deep concentration, but can make you feel a little dazed. It's. Who is getting dazed by the color of indigo? Is this, is this indigo? That's like indigo, why not? Uh, anyway, uh, it's the perfect choice for helping you solve puzzle or strategy challenge. Fuck, like... Suck at XCOM? Slap on some indigo behind your TV. You'll, you'll be smarter in no time. Higher thinking, indigo. Higher thinking and indigo. How? How? How are we finding these correlations here? Who? What scientist is like, well, these gamers would be doing a lot better if they had, like, an LED bulb behind their fucking monitor. It makes you feel dazed, like, okay, so, if you guys don't know, some of you do if you come to my live streams, I have RGB bulbs in my ceiling fan, which are just an awesome investment, spend $16, it's worth it, um, and it's cool and all, I really like doing it, like, I really do, like, this is cool as shit, but, like, I don't feel dazed because of it, you know, like, I, it's cool, it's like, it's novel, and I'll admit, like, I, I've changed colors behind my monitors to match what I'm doing in the game or whatever. So, like, when I was playing Kingdom Hearts 2 in Twilight Town, which is sort of like a sunset -y area, I used, like, a cool orange. Like, and it sort of, like, matched it. Did it really immerse me? No, but it was kind of like, oh, that's kind of fun, you know? Okay, so maybe I just have small, not-working brain, and that's why I don't get these lights and these descriptions. But if somebody walked up to you on the street and said, hey, man... I'm selling a light bulb, it's the color, it's the color indigo, which if you don't know, it's the color of higher thinking, sort of puts you on the level of a Rick and Morty watcher, viewer, audience member, fan, fuck. Anyway, my super smart conclusion with all of this is that all these different colors are cool and novel and, you know, are kind of worth $25 if you want to add a little spice to your gaming setup. But why tell people they're going to be smarter or more creative or feel more powerful from having lights? Like, I get marketing your shit, but the best thing you could say is it might reduce eye strain and can provide maybe some immersion. Higher thinking? Come on. Like, just say, hey, here's all the colors we have, and I hope it looks cool to you. Like, what is my brain doing right now with all these colors flashing? Is it, like, freaking out? It's like, I'm peaceful, I'm relaxed, I'm aggressive, I'm passionate. Like, what? God, I'm congested still. So what I have learned from this video is that if I really want a burst of energy during a long gaming session, I'm just gonna stare at this yellow ethernet cable. I mean, it should make everything better, right? Mm -hmm.